bad girl make you want to chase Nana. Give me that thing where I go for you late Nana. Hi guys, I'm Jay Gabrielle. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. Today is a wig review slash makeup video. So if you like it, definitely give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. So today's video is brought to you by Elevate Styles. The wig that I'm reviewing is main concept Bianca. Um, as you can see, the first thing I noticed is that this has like a pre-tweezed hairline, which is so awesome. The colour on this unit is absolutely beautiful. It's like a yakky texture, comes with your standard two combs in the front, one in the back, and then also adjustable straps. This unit also has a 4 by 4 inch part in space, which is just really beautiful. And it also has a flap at the back, so if you wanted to put it in an updo, you definitely could. The hair texture is very yakky, so just keep that in mind. I do wonder if that's going to make it tangled but yeah we'll see um, so it got to be glued I actually didn't apply any right now um, I applied it so once I'd like finished the whole look so I'm starting off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown and I'm just gonna do my eyebrows I'm doing this really quickly because I feel like my eyebrows just weren't working for me today so yeah I just did them quite quick just using my little spoolie just to get the product in everywhere Then I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Clear Gel Mascara, I think it's called. All the products are listed down below in the description box. Next, I'm using my NYX Wonder Stick. It's actually a contour stick, but I couldn't find my concealer, so I'm just using that to do my brows. And I'm just using a flat brush just to kind of blend all of that in. Then I found my Keela concealer, so now I'm going to use that just on my eyelids just to kind of get like a a base for my eyeshadows and I forgot to mention but I'm also using these new brushes which I got on Prime Day so yeah let's see how they go in this makeup video so I'm using the Kylie Carly Bible deluxe palette today and I'm just starting off with that orangey brown shade and I'm just working that into the outer corner of my eye along my crease and then onto the inner corner of my eye just blending that out next I'm taking a slightly darker brown and again I'm just going on into that outer V again along the crease a little bit below where I just went with the other brown shade and now I'm taking the darker brownish kind of shade it's kind of a weird color and I'm using that flat brush just to kind of pack that into the outer V and slightly along the crease Next I'm taking my Makeup Revolution palette, I can't remember which one it is but I'll list it down below and I'm just taking the darkest kind of coal black shade and I'm just working that onto the outer corner of my eye and the inner corner of my eye. Next I'm just taking this super pretty pigment from MAC, this is called Out All Night and I'm just working that into the centre of my eyelid so just where there wasn't any eyeshadow at all. And I'm just using a flat brush as well just to kind of smooth the lines out. So next I'm just doing my lower lash line and again I'm just using basically the same colours that I used on my eyelids. And then I'm just taking that beautiful pigment again and I'm just popping that right in the centre. And then for the inner corner of my eye, I'm using another pigment from MAC called Blonde's Gold. And this is super pretty. It's a little bit lighter than the other shade of gold that I've got on my eyelid. Next, I'm taking that gold from that palette and I'm just going to work that onto my brow bone and also just kind of smooth out any harsh lines. And then I'm just using my NYX Dewy Finish Spray to set everything and applying my lashes and a little bit of mascara. Next I'm using this hydrating primer. I have quite dry skin so I really love this stuff. And then for foundation I'm mixing my Fit Me foundation which I have in the colour 322 Warm Honey and just mixing that with this kind of glowy moisturiser. Next I'm taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just going to use that to highlight the places on my face where I need to. 
and I do love to blend that out with my finger. I'm not, I don't know, I don't ever really like to use a beauty blender or anything for that. I just like my fingers. And then I'm just gonna set that with some translucent powder. And I have to say, these brushes are really soft, the Amazon brushes. I do really like them actually. To contour, I'm just gonna use my Wonder Stick. I'm using the darker side. I love this thing and it's only like $11. And to blend it out, I'm just going to use this stupid KKW applicator thingy-majig just because I need to make some use out of it because it was just such a waste of money. Anyway, now I'm just using my NYX contour kit, just the darker shade in that, just to kind of go over my contour. And just to make sure everything blends okay, I'm using that Fit Me powder in the 330, which just kind of helps to get rid of any harsh lines between the contour and the highlight. Bit of lip plumper, and now I'm on to the bronzer. I love this kind of reddish shade in the e.l.f. bronzer palette and I'm just going to top that off because this is a bronze look, I'm going to top that off with even more bronzer. Next I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette and I'm using Glow Getter. Oh, I love highlights so much. <laughs> Next I'm taking Forever Lit and I'm just going to apply that to the center arch of my eyebrows and then I'm taking 143 and I'm just adding even more highlight. Next I'm just taking off the lip plumper and I'm applying this NYX lipstick which I have in the color Sable which is also the name of my dog. And now I'm taking this lip gloss called Bronze Berry from Wet n Wild, it's only $2 and I'm just applying that over the top and that's my look complete. Don't forget you can pick up Bianca from ElevateStyles.com. Thank you so much for watching, bye guys!